All right, what's up, Cross people? Welcome back, you guys. Today we have the second workout released for the Support Your Local Box fundraiser. It's a pretty fun one, classic couple neck style. So we have two movements. We have the double under and the burpee, which we all knew was coming. <laughs> um, so today we have a four-time workout. We have 100 double unders, 21 burpees, 75 double unders, 15 burpees, 50 dubs, and then finishing with nine burpees. There's a 15-minute time cap on the workout. So just like the open, um, what you're gonna see today for this score is either you're gonna submit a time or you're gonna submit a rep. So if you don't finish this entire workout, so finish the nine burpees in the 15 minute time cap, you're gonna enter, enter a total reps. So however many reps that you got in the 15 minute time cap. Today, if you don't have double unders or you're not going to do them, there's a, different, there's a couple different options you can do as substitute. The actual scale version that CrossFit Games prescribed is going to be 50 jumping jacks instead. So the reps are just a little bit different. You're just subbing jump, jumping jacks in for the double unders, but the reps are a little bit lower because of that. So it's gonna be 50 jumping jacks, then 15 burpees, 35 jumping jacks, 12 burpees, 20 jumping jacks, and then you're gonna finish with nine burpees. Same time cap, 15 minutes, and the same scoring system goes. So it's either time and or reps that you complete. Four, if you guys aren't feeling the jumping jack thing, that's okay. You can do single unders. I would suggest whatever you're gonna plan on doing, just take a look at the CrossFit Games website, figure out what scaling option you wanna use, and then go from there. That'll determine your reps and whatnot. Um, so, for the movements, y'all, if you have double unders, you know how to go. The rope has to pass through twice under your feet to count as one rep. Burpees, they're burpees. <laughs> we can all fall down and get up, right? So biggest thing here is that we make sure nipples touch the ground and that we're standing up all the way at the top, opening up our hips and clapping them over our heads because we're evolvers. <laughs> so you can use the classic two feet back, nipple, nipple touch, two feet up and clap them over your head. Or you can step back, step up, or do some combination of the two. Big thing with the step up is it's awesome because looking at this workout, it's a lot of heart rate. Stepping up and stepping back, keep the heart rate just a little bit lower so that you can regroup for the double unders and it's a little less jumping. However, make sure if you do the step up burpee that you guys are making sure to alternate legs every time when you step out of the burpee. Otherwise your double unders are probably gonna feel real weird and you're probably gonna be sore more so on one side the next day than the other. As always guys, if you have any questions on the movements, on the workouts, on the time frame, you can hop on our Zoom classes, check that out, or you can reach out to any one of the coaches on social media, email, whatever. We'll answer whatever we can the best we can. Hope to see you guys soon. Keep being champions, keep hashtagging everything, lockdown, throwdown. We want to see you guys out there, we'd love to see you, and keep an eye out for the challenge of the week because who doesn't like winning, right? So make sure you guys post about that. Hashtag us, keep the Evolve family, and we'll see you guys hopefully soon.